As a psychotherapist working with couples, one thing that we always end up working with, of course, is communication. That can be an issue with couples that are getting on well and have a good relationship, as well as couples that are in crisis. And we all fall into the trap of doing ineffective communication with our partner. We try and promote a very simple way of trying to change that. We call it the Free Step Program. It's just putting three steps into a communication style that when you put them all together, eventually that works really well for the couple. So the first step is to talk about what you're feeling and not what the situation is. So you're feeling happy, sad, frustrated, angry. So you're letting the partner know you're in a world, what you're actually feeling. The second part of it is to talk about the situation without including your partner in that situation. The minute you mention your partner, then it becomes a form of blame. So I'm feeling frustrated that there are shoes all over the hallway. It feels very different to I'm really angry with you for leaving your shoes there. And then the last part of the communication style is just to ask for your partner something that you need. It doesn't mean that they have to give it to you. I'm feeling really frustrated that there are shoes left in the hallway. And if you can, can you try and put your shoes away if you remember? What happens in the brain is when the partner hears their name or an accusation or blame, they go into defence mode. So they have to defend themselves. When it's a softer approach using the three step tool, and then they are more willing to listen. It may not work the first time or many times after, but eventually it does. And the aim of it is to get out of talking about the subject. So you're talking about the feelings, the inner world you're both going through. Both of you can express what you're feeling and it takes you out of the subject. And once you're out of the subject, it stops that blame culture going on where someone blames, someone has to defend and then they attack and then there's blame again. So talk about what you're feeling, talk about the situation that's actually causing that. And then if you can, ask your partner for something that would help you in that situation. What it does do is it allows you to get to the bottom of what's going on between you. And to use an example, if let's pick on the husband today, if the husband goes to a pub two or three times an evening with their friends, and they say they'll be back about 10 and it's often 11, by the time they walk in, they're already be feeling tense because they know their partner's going to be angry. The wife might be angry because she feels let down, hurt and unloved, but she doesn't express that. She attacks. You, know, you said you'll be back by 10 and now it's 11. You always let me down. The husband would have to defend. They would have to protect themselves. It's up to me what I do. I just stayed a bit longer this time. Not understanding that his wife is feeling hurt and unloved, abandoned. And for her not to understand that he's feeling controlled or put down. But if they use the communication tool and get to those feelings, then actually they will often get to a solution that works for both of them. Talk about your feelings. Talk about the situation that's causing the feelings. And if it's appropriate, ask your partner something that would help you in that situation.